Welcome back to PJ Chen Design. In this mini series, step by step KeyShot basic jewelry rendering, we are going to talk about the final step how to uh, export the image and maybe a little trick to make it fancier. Are you ready? Let's get started. This is the part three for our mini series. If you haven't watched the first two, you may want to watch the first two first. On the right top corner, I will have the link as well as in the bottom description below. Download the Keyshot trial. You can go to the keyshot.com and put in the information. You are able to get the trial version to play with. And to get the demo file, you can go to the link below and then you will see this landing page for you to sign up my newsletter and you were able to download the file after you click subscribe and download. Now let's go back to the key shot we were talking about the material and then we're talking about the environment we also talk about uh, how to manipulate the material at very basic level and how to kind of edit the environment moving the lighting and set up the lighting for the first two section on the third section we're gonna talk about the image and how we're going to export them once you are ready let's go to the render and you click on that render icon then you will get something like this first of all the default is in the keisha render folder if you are not going to save there don't know where to find it you can always put it into a folder that's easy for you to type it keisha test here as my folder and assign this folder for all my rendering so i select the folder now it will save over there you got many options right here as a PNG or as, or as a JPEG. If you want a transparent, you might want to save as a PNG and with the alpha channel in the back. I simply just want to do a JPEG and it has the preset file size that you can choose from. For the demonstration purpose, I'm just going to use the smallest one 640 by 450 to speed it up the process. You can click on the region which you were able to only select a certain area that you want to render instead of the whole things. Uh, if that is the case, you want to zoom in to for a certain area, you can choose the region. If you uncheck it, it basically just gonna render everything there. This is the setup for you have a lot of a jewelry. They all want to render in exactly the same angle. You can do that. Once everything is setting up, let's do a render and see how it goes. As soon as you hit render, it will start running. Once it's done, you click on the check mark and you go to the folder that you have. Then you are able to see this image and double click on it. That will be the image you can use. One thing to keep in mind, this is the JPEG file, which means it's completely flat. Um, the background and the foreground is actually stick together. It's no transparent background in this case. Back to the key shot. Sometimes for my purpose, not only I need to have one angle. So what I can do is I can come in over here and I can moving my camera into different angles. And if I, I like this angle, something look like this and moving my lighting if I like to. And instead of uh, doing the render, I can add to Q. And then I can keep moving into the angle and let's say this is the angle that I like and I can add to Q as well. And once you add a lot of them, you can kind of come into the Q and you can see two of them is on the list. So before you go to sleep, you can just process the Q and it will start processing one by one. So when you wake up, all of the things in the queue will be ready. If you know how to do the Photoshop or you want to custom the background in there, you might want to uh, save as a PNG and including an alpha channel so you can do additional things in the Photoshop. I will show you how to do it in more advanced setting in other video. Let's take a look at what else we can do to make this a little bit fancier. Right here in the image, you do have some option here. So first of all, this one is called vignette. 
and then you can set it up it kind of a give it and you can check on this and kind of a make it a little bit bigger as you can see that giving the outside almost like a rim of the darker crowd as you can see i'm going to bumping up as a higher number so it's easier for you to see it kind of giving a darker color on the outside of the picture so make the jewelry pop up a lot more if you are going to use in your portfolio this is actually going to make your jewelry pop color pop up even more um, but if you are going to use into a white background website you might want to keep it white better Another little trick we can do is we can come into the camera and you have this one as step of the field. If you if you play with the photography, you probably know what it is. It's for you to make sure some part is focused and the rest of it because of the depth of the field will get blurred. We're gonna click on this icon right here and click on the stone where it is um, I want it to be focused. And you can also bump up the number. As the jewelry is really really small piece here, so I might need to bump up the number a little bit higher so I can get. Uh, a big area cover to be clear so it will give you some effect like really clear and focus in the first um, the, the front three stone and a little bit kind of blur on the side and getting really blur in the back so that will give you focus at the front with the depth of the feel I hope you enjoyed this basic Keyshot 9 step-by-step -step rendering for jewelry and it is really easy to use. It already have a lot of the preset in the library. All you need to do is choose and dump them into the model. If you like this series and would like to see more of this, please consider joining the membership which support my passion to help other people to learn jewelry design. Click on the join button below next to the subscriber. Thank you and I hope to see you there.